In this video we're going to show how to update the BIOS for Gigabyte motherboard. So just find the BIOS for your motherboard on the um, through the Gigabyte website. Click on the support page. Scroll down to utilities. And this is the process for updating the BIOS through the App Center in Windows 10 or 11. So note here there's the BIOS app <coughs> and then there's the App Center. So you need to download the App Center first. So once you've done that, just get that from your downloads. Drag it to your desktop if you want and extract the file. through your setup process. Alright, once that's installed you want to download the the BIOS app that gets installed into the App Center. So also download that file, put it on your desktop if you like, and then extract that file just as you did before. Go through your setup. Now you want to download your BIOS that you will need, your latest BIOS here for Gigabytes, the F8 for the Z590 motherboard. Right, once you've done that, Now open your, uh, your app center. And there's your BIOS app to download your latest BIOS. So you can either use the file that you used or you can just download it through uh, the internet. Just click on BIOS. And this video part is for how to update your BIOS um, from the BIOS within itself. So you want to restart your PC or turn it on, um, hit your post page coming up and tap on the Dell key. Um, that'll take you into the BIOS. Uh, just make sure you download the last, latest BIOS to a USB key. Um, extract the file if you need to. Um, and once you're in the BIOS, you want to click on your Q flash, and then you get the option here to do it through the through the USB. Select the the BIOS that you've just downloaded, and 
and you'll see it come up there, the one with the F8.8 at the end. Uh, click on the right arrow there and um, you'll get the option to be sure you want to update this BIOS. And click on yes. Uh, just be sure to, when you're doing this, not to unplug any devices from your PC or do them before. Uh, if you do it during your BIOS, your BIOS could freeze and you'll brick your motherboard. Uh, so, yep, you want to click OK on this. Um, this is when your PC will restart. Um, you'll get some beeping sounds. Um, this takes a little bit of time. Uh, just let the BIOS run its, run its course. And just remember that when your BIOS is, is updating, um, once it's done, um, you'll, it'll go through a few restarts uh, once that's done. It could take a couple of minutes for your BIOS to actually come back online and just let the PC keep going. Uh, you'll see a few restarts during that period.